Hey guys, it's David at Valley Beyond this morning. Good Monday morning to you. So uh, we've decided that we're going to. Uh, James is closing the door. What's that about? I'm still not sure if that's about. Okay, we're live. I'll, I'll get back to it. Anyway, hang on. Here we go. So I get totally distracted with whatever the frick he was just doing. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, um, you know, we have a, a whole bunch of stuff that we bring in from, from Indonesia and, uh, um, and very little, very seldom do I actually tell you about what it is that we've got. And, and uh, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about this. This is a, uh, a meditation stool. And y even though I designed it, you know, it came out of the, c the concept of a, of a, a taller stool, like a, a Zen stool. Um, and, and uh, but I did design it uh, the exact size and the thickness of the wood and, and uh, you know all the discussion that went into it was was amazing in in, in uh, last year basically the last three trips to to Indonesia were, were trips that where I got to work on this project and, and uh, um, I have this belief that that uh, you know we have the possibility to help people create meditation spaces in every home and and, uh, and these these stools because I think if you're gonna sit on something uh, you want to know what it is you're sitting on and these are uh, these are made from recycled teak like which is so cool and uh, and they're solid they're gonna gonna last like you know I don't know 60 80 years um, one day when when you pass you know your grandkids are gonna say oh she's grandpa or grandma sat on that stool it's just infused with their psyche and their love and, and uh, because this was your meditation stool it's gonna gonna be a family icon and, and uh, we're gonna set your ashes on it <laughs> anyway so this is handmade in a little tiny factory outside of Solo S-O-L-O -O. Solo is a city in Indonesia actually the current president of uh, Indonesia comes from Solo and it's famous for its furniture making Anyway, this is where this is made, just outside of Solo. Solo is about 60 kilometers from uh, Yogyakarta. And Yogyakarta, I would c call the cultural capital of Java, uh, if not the cultural capital of, of Indonesia. Uh, and, and it may very well be where some of the greatest temples are there, the, the Hindu temples and also the Buddhist temples, Borobudur Bor 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 is there, beautiful. So if you're ever going to Indonesia, I recommend go to Jogja, Yogyakarta and uh, uh, check out that part of the, of the Java world. So this is it, they're made by hand, they're recycled teak, they're perfectly imperfect, um, and, and, uh, uh, and they last forever. And uh, I tell people that they're, they're not really meditation stools, that they're transportation vehicles, that these things will skyrocket you into the fourth or fifth dimension of reality. Like Buzz Lightyear said, infinity and beyond. But you have to have to sit on it. It's a practice, you know. Meditation is it's a practice. So that's my mission. What do you guys think? Like, it, uh, I that's it. That's the deal. I I, I want. I believe we're we are being part of of a movement uh, towards meditation, towards awakening, towards consciousness enhanced life, towards the self realization. You know, and, and the, the the truth is. From my experience, the truth is that, that that when we're not meditating, we're living from ego often. You know, we're not sometime taking the time to slow down and check in with with the you know our creator, whatever that may be. The you know the large the capital S self as opposed to the small S self. I mean, there's so many descriptions of or concepts of uh, the connecting with divine. If we're not doing that, then we're, we're generally living from our preconditioned belief systems, you know, from our ideas, from our, from our, uh, co the collective uh, belief systems out there. And, and, uh, and a lot of that's based in fear. So meditation is the road out of fear. Meditation is the road to, to a different type of certainty. A, um, you know, not a, a false certainty, not a pride certainty but a certainty based in, in a connection to love. So, um, so these are actually love items, and they're infused with love. We put love into them before we send them out. So 
that's, that's the deal. Ah, there's one more thing. Um, at the same time, we created these. These are little altars. And uh, you can call it whatever you want. But if you're going to have a little meditation space, having a, a space in, in your room to, to, um, to put one of these, it's also recycled teak. And, and I designed them, and they're really cool. Uh, but have, they're not they're actually for sitting on, they're for putting stuff on. So that's, uh, um, you know, handmade in the same little factory. I am talking about a little factory, you know, with maybe six or eight guys, most of them sitting on the floor. You know, these are all hand cut. And, and, uh, and we, the finish we put on this is kind of an eco finish. So on both of these items, it, uh, uh, what's on them is, a, is a, I paid a little extra to buy from this, uh, this company that has these eco finishes. So you're, we're not, you know, there's no toxins, absolutely no toxins in the wood, you know, or on the wood. And, and uh, I don't know if that makes any difference to you guys, but it makes a difference to me. And, and uh, so that's the deal. That's my vision. And uh, I believe that, uh, that we're, you know, that it's happening. It, it re really is. So if you uh, just want to tell, if you know anybody that you think would love to have a meditation space, share this with him or her. You know, if you know any companies that you think would like to create meditation spaces in, at work, share this with them you know and, and uh, or share with us who they are and we'll get in touch with them um we really you know we need your support in this uh, i think it's a community event a community thing and and uh, um that being said just want to add that we're doing a couple of things here that are really community based we're going to starting on the 10th of march we have our first uh, sunday morning awakening where it's a you know a, a bit of a, a dance event we're going to do ecstatic dance on sunday morning if you want to know more about ecstatic dance we're going to we'll place more information on here there's going to be more on the event and, and uh, um, so sunday morning ecstatic dance great place to come and meet and and, and mix with community there'll be some check-in there'll be some uh, like a sacred circle and, and uh, uh, where we can talk about ourselves and and, uh, um, and and kind of get to know each other at a deeper level and uh, that kind of connection is important I think belonging to community is important having a purpose is important and uh, we, we'd love to share our purpose with you that Sunday morning Monday nights we do a meditation here in this room it's just very cool and, and uh, we'd love to have you come and join us for those that um, and, and more, uh, just drop by. What's amazing is that people come by sometimes just to see us and, and maybe share what's going on or come to get a hug. It, it, we have a, what I would call a really safe space here. So you're welcome, we want you to come and join us in our safe space. Um, so that's it, a little bit about the meditation stool and the altar. Um, by the way, this is done up as a package and it also comes with, oh, here they are, it also comes with this so it's a, a little altar a little meditation stool and uh, and we've kind of thrown in these abalone shells and a little bit of uh, sage to go with it and uh, it's all the whole package together you can order online or you can just call me up and we'll organize shipping it to you is uh, 150 bucks so the stool by itself was 150 dollars and so we just kind of threw in the altar and 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 this all for free really it's a, a yeah it's a smoking deal so love you guys and, and this is a great gift idea too if uh, your wife or your husband or your kids are meditating or you want them to meditate it's a good hint it really is and we have all kinds of stuff to here to put in your space as well to make it a, a, a more inviting and comfortable kind of a you know sacred space it's sacred if you say it's sacred so just create it and it'll be that way okay you guys love you lots and, and uh, thanks so much for tuning in cheers